So how's it again from a very flat and uh, windswept onshore uh, Jeffreys Bay? It's been uh, a terrible time with very, very little waves, but there's good news that uh, the uh, new event is uh, being planned and put together and uh, yeah, there's a lot of stuff upcoming. The interesting news is that they're going to be putting up all of the infrastructure that normally goes up at the uh, WSL event and uh, I was very surprised to hear that from uh, Ari. But yeah, they're going all in and they're going to be having a lot of stuff going on at the comp, at the new comp that's coming up. We're uh, due to have the uh, specialist event in which we're going to have a super trial which is going to be reminiscent of the old days, the J-Bay super trials. In the main events we're going to have Aki, Josh Kerr, Jack Freestone, Mason Ho and some others that will be invited. And then obviously the South African super trial where the uh, South African up and coming uh, kids and lighties and all the uh, and all the Challenger Series guys will be uh, put into some heat to fight it out for some slots in the main event. We've even got some up and coming talent from other African countries, Morocco and Mozambique. So yeah, plenty to look forward to, some new faces and some uh, fresh surfing. And of course we're going to have some of the up and coming ladies and uh, current tour ladies. Uh, joining in in the contest as well, so there's going to be something for everybody. Yeah, so some of the slots are still being finalized. We may even see Kelly here one more time if the surf is good for the forecast period. But yeah, I'll keep you updated as the whole the event comes together and we get everything finalized. But yeah, I'll give you what we've got for now. But yeah, it's looking super promising. We just need some really good waves for the period and it's going to be an absolute cracker. So yeah, there's plenty coming up and uh, yeah, there's going to be some big uh, music festivals and a whole lot of stuff thrown in. We've got a lot of uh, uh, sporting events, cycle events, all sorts of stuff happening on the weekend. There's going to be some fishing comps, a big air event, etc, etc. The normal uh, stuff we put together to make these uh, comps such a success. So after the trial's been decided, we can have an 18 men and a nine women competition. And there'll be, a, there'll be three divisions run uh, on thrusters and in quads and on twin fins. So yeah, it's gonna be a super different, super interesting competition. And we'll see some different surfing from different guys and in different conditions. So yeah, looking forward to it. Make sure you join us then. Make sure you come and visit J Bay and, and check her out in all her splendor. So catching up from where we left off last time. First uh, swell of the winter had finally arrived and although it hadn't uh, worked out to be as good as what it had been forecast, we at least had our first waves. My new boards had arrived the following day. I hope there's two in there. Yeah, I hope there's two in there, looks like two. Okay, you haven't damaged it or anything. Eh? No. Just having a quick check. Now they look good. No. Right, shut up, must I sign? Okay. All right. Are you going to Cape Town? No. Are you I come to, come from the. Are you just delivering local? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Cool. Of and oil. Okay. Thanks so much. Okay. Thanks. Looks good. I'm gonna yes. unbox them now. Freshies. <laughs> yeah. So a couple of dings in the bottom deck. Hopefully they haven't gone all the way through. Yeah. The surf's been friggin' terrible after that uh, big swell. And this pretty much sums up what's happened. I think I got the new board on the 16th and it's all been downhill since then. <laughs> Absolutely no swell whatsoever. As I said, there was a big onshore period. Uh, it looks like uh, it's going to be onshore right into next week. So that's probably another eight days of onshore and no swell. Uh, I don't even see anything on the horizon. So yeah, it was a quick one-two and it's all gone again. So. We're just going to have to wait and be patient. It's not every day you get two boards. I don't often order two at the same time. 
But yeah, every time you do get these boards, and you always get that excitement of getting a new board and, and unpacking them and going surfing on them. It just energizes you. So yeah, looking forward to having a look at these and seeing how well they go. This is my sort of gym area. I've got some uh, dumbbells and I do some step ups. I've got TRX bands and resistance bands and a little bench that I make myself there. So yeah. But he's been putting in some time losing weight been doing some fasting and uh, just eating protein and like only one meal a day in the evenings so yeah i dropped six kilos so that just adds to the stoke feeling so much better that uh, three-year period on the yachts almost killed me man just not doing regular exercise got to january i just said to kerry no man that's enough man i'm i'm going on the straight and narrow dumped all the booze uh, I do have a beer after the surfs and stuff like that, but yeah, generally just no more hot tech, no more drinking, only a beer um, now and then. And man, what a difference. Um, and yeah, obviously exercising. Uh, my rule now is if I don't surf uh, on a day, then I've got to do a workout. And man, what a difference it's made. Dropped from 88 and a half kilos down to 82 something odd now. So phew, massive difference. Hopefully the boys behind the cameras will start taking a few clips of the uh, bully. Yeah, it's always difficult to get clips from the guys because they're always zoning in on the pros and the top guys in the, in the area. So yeah, getting clips of the bully is not easy. But hopefully now with a lighter frame and starting to do a few turns, I might get a few more clips. All right, let's unbox these babies. Tail pad for the bully. That's super cool. Thanks, guys. Thanks, G. Thanks, Smith Surfboards. Oh, let's get my phone going. You'll trade me some surf clips for my for my uh, mic, my shotgun mic. <laughs> no, not a problem, bud. Hundred percent. Okay, I'll bring it. I'll bring it with. No problem. Now that was Mike Rathnam. He's just uh, he's just offered me some clips for. Uh, for the vids, so yeah, he's obviously got a couple of me. Hopefully they're not too bloody shabby. One hand helping another. J Bay style. All right, let's get back to it. Let's have a look at this. There's the speed demon and there's the swallow. Oh man, they're so light. These feel so good. Holy shit. Oh man, I can't wait to freaking ride these. Holy moly. Oh, it's got a lot of lot of tail kick in it. Oh man, this is gonna be a machine. This is a new bottom rocker that they've got in the boards, and they reckon, reckon, grand reckon these are like the fastest bottom rockers that they've made. So yeah, man, this is gonna be a treat, such a treat. It doesn't look like any new things yet. This, that looks good. Phew, I'm away. And this is my little summer board, a little fat one. Man, we've got so much nicer down rails than the. Then the other, the second hand board that I bought. Yeah, that's one thing about J-Bay that you don't want. And you, don't, you don't want fat rails. You want these turn down rails, these are two and three eighths rails. So even though I go two and five eighths with a bit more volume, I pull these rails down. So they're pinchy because you got so much speed there. If the rails are too boxy and too round, you just don't get the, the rails in. Once you get up to speed, like on a bigger day, six to eight, when you hit the bottom, man, you can just feel the board just doesn't want to, doesn't want to hold, you just get the slidey feeling. So you've got to pinch these rails, so yeah, super important. And I see on the speed them, and they've done the same for me as well. They've pinched these as well, and, and going even even more pinched down into the to the bottom rails and the tail. So although there's a lot of volume, they still pull the rails down, which makes a massive difference. Can't wait. Nice and wide. This is sort of like a fish hybrid with it with big concaves. This is going to be such fun. It can either be a twin quad or a, th a thruster, so or a twin with trailer or whatever you want to do. And I'm looking forward to riding these. These are just it's going to just be such fun, man. So there you go. They're out of the plastic. You can see the one's sort of more of a fish swallow, and that's just your standard swallow pulled in. And yeah, wide fun board for summer surf and a full on performance model for the really good days at supers they are super light such lightweight really feel good yeah there the dims are there it's, it's 
board has got like flat edged rails and then this big concave going into a double at the back and uh, yeah, 5, 10, 20 by 2 and 5 eighths, 35 litres. Help the bully get in easily on those sloppy fat. So it was a windswell days riding FCS. I've got so many uh, FCS fins through the years that I've stayed with FCS because to go and change over to the futures fins is I'd have to spend a lot of money to get the, the uh, quiver of fins that I've got back up to scratch. And here we go. That's uh, this one 6.1, uh, 19 and 3 eighths, and 2 and 5 eighths, 32.5 liters. So, shoo, looking forward to this. And look at this bottom concave. Wow, man, it's got a big concave all the way through and with massive tail kick. You can see that tail kick. Oh, this board's going to be loose, man. Super, super excited to ride this. Yeah, baby. Tail pads on. Just add wax and water. A matrix. And the speed demon. Ready to rock and roll. Going to switch uh, the same fins over so you get an idea of what you're riding. I'm going to do the same on the other boards. I'm going to ride the same fins on the, <coughs> on the uh, Matrix. Um, those Scarfini, you know, those Scarfini lodges. That's what I ride on the other on my other Matrix. So we'll see that way you can compare them, and then from there I'll do some changes. Now looking sexy with their new fins in. I've actually changed the the main fins for the quad, but uh, yeah, we'll see prefer that to set up so proof will be in the pudding sure seriously sound like a broken record these days we had a two days of howling east uh, onshore and then followed by a big uh, offshore yesterday turned the water over it's absolutely freezing with this mist bank out there the boards have been on the rack for a week and a half now i've waxed them up but yeah there's been nothing to go and surf uh, there's a bit of a south swell uh, coming today, only about a two meter, not great. And then we've got some offshores tomorrow, so I'm going to go and give the, the uh, Speed Demon a quick test today. I'm hoping the water's not going to be too cold. The guys were complaining yesterday. So yeah, what can do? Put the little Speed Demon in the, in the, in the back. Going to have a quick look at what's... Uh, What's, on, what's happening down at a point? That's probably where I'm going to surf today because it's, uh, yeah, I've got a spring low. I don't think supers will have much today. It's just too small. But yeah, at least you get a little test ride today. Just come up to the lookout spot here just down the road from here. Yeah, there's a little bit of swell, not a lot. You can see that thick mist bank out at sea. You can see if I go down the road there, you can see that big mist bank there. Absolutely closed up completely. Yeah, there's definitely a bit of swell. I see there's a bit of a set coming down. You can see there's at least some lines. It's very small, but I'm sure it will pick up through the day. That swell's supposed to fill in sort of 17 second period. So yeah, that's normally got a bit of energy to it. So I'm sure there's going to be a wave or two. Just going to have a quick look at the at supers. Man, it's been such slim pickings. It's been the most infuriating. I mean, like this morning was such a beautiful morning. It's it's like a perfect morning to go and look for uh, Garrick and Cobb on the surf, but the water's freezing. So I know full well that going down there is just a waste of time. So although I'm itching to go, I mean, I haven't even I haven't even used the Zodiac since I had it fixed. It's been in the garage for like almost two months now, and I haven't even taken it out to put it in the water to go give it a test because. I just know it's not worth it so yeah and the weather going forward looks exactly the same it's uh, we got uh, two days of light offshore coming now which will definitely improve the water but um, then we're going to two days of howling onshore again for the weekend so yeah man it's just up and down up and down crazy 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 just look at this mist <laughs> Shit. i'm going down the hill here just check out this mist it's absolutely wall to wall and that's the cold water Absolutely grayed out going down the hill. You can't even see the ocean. That water is probably about 13 degrees Celsius. Ice cream headache stuff. Super's car park. Small little wave coming down. That's the biggest it's been for the last 
two weeks. It's barely rideable. Look at that mist, man. Oh, yeah, cold breeze. Pretty, but uh, yeah, a couple of guys down at the point. Looks pretty, but it's chilly. Yeah, so the following day we did get a bit of swell pushing and had a chance to put the speed demon to its test. The board went really, really well, super quick. I was still fiddling with fins and trying things out, so yeah, it's a work in progress. And then we also had one really sloppy day the following day in the onshore just to try it out. But yeah, that's about all we've had so far. So yeah, it's been super slim pickings. And uh, yeah, we look forward to the uh, southwest is starting to push through and the winter starting to kick in. It's got to happen very soon, maybe well into uh, May, going into June. Things have got to kick in now. So that's all I've got for you this week. Uh, we are heading on a road trip uh, down the coast to the Vic Bay Quad, the Masters Quad. I'll be surfing in the Masters Division down there, the over 60s. And I'll put a bit of a vid together about the whole thing. I'll show you uh, what a pretty little place this is. It's a really quaint little place and one of those places you want to visit if you ever go down this coastline. Uh, yeah, it's, if you want to take your time and go down here, there's a lot of surf along this coast. Uh, Vic Bay, there's all sorts of places. Buffalo's Bay, there's a heap of places you can stop. Stoll Bay, Straits Bay, all sorts of places. And uh, yeah, a really, really pretty section of the coast. So yeah, until then, Make sure you uh, click on the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and we'll see you on the next as well. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.